do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Game Dexterity. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you a very quick and simple way, actually more of the process, of how to install custom programs to your PS2 memory card using the FMCB. So like for example, I will show you how to take a, uh, a PSX Launcher ELF file, uh, take it from your USB drive, put it onto your PS2, but also how to sh make it show up on the main menu of the FMCB program. Now, we got a lot going on today, but real quick, if you want to find homebrew programs, go to www.sksapps.com, click on PS2 apps, and then go ahead and browse around and find whatever you want. So. Right here on my computer, I have a USB thumb drive plugged in. It is currently a FAT32 format. So if I double click on this, you shall see that I only have one file in here. This is a psxlauncher.elf. You can, of course, have other files on your USB thumb drive, but just make sure that your thumb drive is formatted as FAT32. So with that said, let's jump straight into the video tutorial. Okay, so on this portion of the video, what I have here is my black PS2 Slim. It's the SCPH-70012, I believe. And then I have a Sony 8 megabyte memory card with free McBoot installed. And I have a USB thumb drive here, 128 megabytes, formatted as FAT32. And I have the psxlauncher.elf file that I'm going to install today. And I'll show you how to install it on the main menu of the free McBoot. So let's get started. Let's turn on the PS2. And here, this is the normal boot up procedure of the Free McBoot program. And you can use this method in the future so you can install your own USB Advance or update your version of ULaunch Elf or whatever you want to do. So, hopefully, this tutorial, what's important here is just the concept. With the concept, you can really do anything you want. So, let's go to ULaunch Elf first. So, let me press X. So what I'm going to do right now is copy my um, custom homebrew program from my um, USB thumb drive to the memory card. So let's press uh, circle here to go to file browser. Go down to mass. And here I have a program called psxlauncher.elf. I got this off the internet. I could put a link on the more info section if that will help you guys out. But I'm going to press the R1 button and go to copy, press circle. Now let's go back to the parent drive, let's go to MC0, go up to the boot folder, sorry, go down to the boot folder, press circle, and then what I'm going to do here is just right click anywhere on here, not right click, sorry, um, press the R1 button, and then on the right hand side, go down to paste and press circle, and notice what's going to happen is here, it says psxlauncher.elf was copied, over. So now the next thing we need to do is... Uh, let me just restart the PS2. So we just copied the psxlauncher.l file or whatever file you just copied to your memory card. And now what I want to do is add it as a shortcut on the main menu of Free McBoot. Notice that there is no line item here that says PSX Launcher. So how are we going to add that? So go down the Free McBoot configurator and press X. Now press circle here and go down to configure OSD sys options, press circle and go down here, second line item says configure item one. So just press the right arrow until you get to an open spot. So here item seven is open. So here for the name, press circle and go ahead and type a name for whatever. So I'm gonna type real quickly here, PSX launcher. If you wanna do a space, press the square button and then let's see here, launcher. Now you can use the same method if you want to install like um, OPL or USB Advance or whatever other program that tickles your fancy. So let's go down and go to OK. Path 1, I always put my memory card in the MC0 slot, so let's press circle on MC0. Navigate to the boot folder. Navigate to whatever program you just installed. So here I'm using psxlauncher.elf, press circle, and notice that there is the path to it. Now, if I want to be consistent, if I had it on, let's see here, on MC1, if I had my memory card in there, then I can conf configure another path, but I don't. So let's press X 
and go to cancel, go to return, press circle on return, and then go down to return again and press circle. And I always do this, save configuration to MC0, press circle. And now, press circle on PS2 browser, this will restart the FMCB program. Okay, so now if I go all the way down, notice that I have a PSX launcher uh, line item. So if I press X here, it will automatically load it. And then from here, I can continue and do whatever I need to do to make this game work. Um, I do have a YouTube video tutorial that shows you how to play PS1 backups on the PS2 Slim using the PSX launcher. So go ahead and watch that video. But that pretty much is the tutorial in a nutshell. So with that said, let's go straight back to the desktop. So there you have it. I hope the process was pretty simple. In a nutshell, all you need is a uh, PlayStation 2. It could be a fat or a slim. And you have the FMCB program already installed. You have a, a USB thumb drive that is formatted as FAT32. You have some homebrew programs you got off the internet. And then that's pretty much it. You can watch my tutorial and you can use this as a way to install new custom um, homebrew applications in the future. If you have any other questions, go ahead and leave a comment here on the YouTube page and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.